Rusty's two. Send a report to headquarters. Threat neutralized at 0400 hours. Yes, sir. You know that's the last one. We still have people stuck in loops, clinging to their own personal struggles and feelings. Don't you want to be a part of something greater? Yeah, I do. Well, the Department of Tranquility is just what you're looking for. No more day jobs, no more endless cycles of drama. Once you complete a quick year of training in our state-of-the-art academy, you'll be assigned to a patrol unit and tasked with solving the real problems. Stamping out its direction, bringing undesirables to justice, and, of course, ending sound crimes for good. For peace. For security. For the cause. And remember, if you hear something, say something. 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 Report to floor seven for debriefing. I repeat, all trainees report to floor seven for debriefing. Bet. Is there an issue? No. Officer. You know, I was in training two years ago. If you need anything. No, no ma'am. She practically raised me. I filed a report and the warrant was out. Just like that. And I know they told us to, but I just can't shake this feeling. Stop it. Look at me. We're all safer because of what you did. Don't think about it. Third patrol, yes, report to armory. I repeat, third patrol, report to armory. How's your day? It was good. You, uh, give the academy kids a tour? No, that wasn't me. I'm gonna go to bed. Great. What? James, I'm really tired. What else we had a chance to talk? I'll see you when you get off. I'm here for you. Just tell me what happened. You know what happened. You still want to talk about it? I just want to know why you're not past this. I'm not going to get mad. You are mad. I'm not mad. Just tell me what I'm doing wrong. Nothing. It's, it's not you, okay? He was my brother, and you're just, you're not going to be able to fill that hole. I'm sorry. What do you think you're missing with Adam? He was a criminal. I know what he was. And we turned him in, and we didn't look back. And now we have all this. I just got promoted. Just stay in the present with me, please. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. feels like hope, like a sunrise or something. Just listen. No. No, you listen, okay? I'm gonna be on the force at the end of this year and then it's my job. I can't keep protecting you anymore. Please just give this up and I swear on mom and dad I won't say anything but you have to or they're going to take you in. Does that scare you or does this? I'll check it out. I could use a walk. Who are you? Come with me. Hey, um, listen, I'm really sorry that I hit you earlier. I, I thought you were somebody else. Um, do you think you could do that again? You know, with the music? Hang on, just wait a second. I, could, I can get you a radio or something. Just stay here. Hey, don't go anywhere. You okay? Who is this guy? I... I don't know. He broke in. He started demanding stuff. Weapons, comms, equipment. I didn't think that I could fight him off. It's okay. We'll get him in custody and take him to city police. Second thought. Yes, sir. He's been subdued by myself and Officer Knight. Well, I think the anomaly matches the reports from the cemetery and the noise complaints. Yes, sir, I will. We're taking him to the precinct. What for? What for? Sorry. I mean, do you, do you know what they're going to do to him? I don't know. I don't have to know. Cannon wants a piece of him, so I doubt it'll be pretty. Astrid, can you go inside and grab my helmet for me? Astrid. This is bad. No, we'll be able to track it. 
Your report credits the abduction of one officer, Astro Knight, to what you describe as a mute teenage boy who, and I quote, manipulated the technology in your apartment to create a sound crime. Yes, sir. I know what I heard. And then this boy, undesirable X, as he has been known, somehow got the jump on both of you and dragged her off as a hostage, assuming this is why you requested to take control of this case. I'm the only one who's seen him, sir. Which is why you'll be there. But he won't be given the orders. Not in your condition. Sir, I was cleared. Your emotional condition. I can see it in your eyes. You want revenge. I want justice. And I want neither. If you're right about this boy, he's a threat to everything we've built. Under the suggestion of certain parties. He could resurrect the very myth we destroyed two years ago. Falco Fury. Mm. Emotional warfare. All the more reason to rid ourselves of these attachments. You report to Captain Duran, and when Unsirable X is found, you'll be ordered to shoot on sight. Regardless of collateral. Sir, is her life really worth nothing in all of this? We profiled every male in your graduating class. We knew the gang wouldn't give Falco up, but his younger sister, raised in their chaos, desperate for any sense of normalcy. She was a weak point in his armor. She was close to him. You were selected to provide her with the security she craved so desperately, and you succeeded. She gave her brother up for you, and the DOT ended the revolution before it could even begin. Your marriage, Corporal, was just another move on my board. And I'm telling you this because I think you have the skills to play. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Then put your helmet on. To be faceless is to transcend your own humanity. To become an idea. That's what we are, Corporal. That's how we held this city together while the rest of the world fell into madness. There's opportunity on the other side of this, but only if you make me a promise. That if it comes down to either saving her or finishing the mission, you won't fold. I'll do my duty, sir. Don't fail me, Corporal. They have a perimeter surrounding the city. We're not going to be able to get out on our own. I'm sorry I didn't think this through. <sighs> you know that name I said earlier? Falco? Well, he was my brother. I guess you reminded me of him. He tried to bring back music, but it didn't end well for him. You know, you could do what he never got to. Or not. But I think I know who can help us. Check it out. Haven't seen you in a while. Work getting busy? I need to talk to Isaac. It's funny. Please, this is important. Hey, first of all, I am so sorry they roughed you up at the gate. You know what it's for, old friend. How are you? I need your help. I'm assuming there's something to do with him. Isaac, what's your name, friend? He can't talk. It's unfortunate. So, refresh my memory. You are still a cop. Nope. Still married to a cop. No. Listen, I went behind James's back just to free him. We just need to get past the blockade. He's special. He's special. He's like Falco. <laughs> Robert. Yeah. Could you do me the courtesy of taking these two out back and tying them to the railroad tracks? What? No. Did you 
tell your friend here? You turn your own brother into the DOT? How he fought back and they murdered him? Now, in all actuality, he was more our family than he was yours. So, if we're not going to avenge him right now, you better give me a reason. Please, Isaac. We need to get out of the city. DOT, we know you have the boy. Hand him over and we'll leave you in peace. We have the building surrounded. This is your final warning. You know they would have burnt this place down if it wasn't so deep in the woods. We're gonna have to move fast. I'm pretty sure James. This was my brother's. He talked about creating a symbol to fight the DOT. I was such an idiot. Try it on. Step aside, officer. No. I won't let you kill him. Undesirable acts has been marked for termination. You stand in violation of the director's orders. Step aside or I'll be- Or what? You're not an idea, James. You're just a person. Are you really going to give everything up for him? 
Yes. Help us. You know I can't. I didn't see you here. Goodbye, Astra. It is a beautiful day on the outskirts. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the city is littered with dead Trank officers. The guy has the thing on his face and he looks dashing. Welcome to the right side of history, I guess. What did you do? Well, it's funny. About uh, 10 minutes into our little confrontation, I realized I was hearing more voices than I had friends. So, went to the window and uh... <laughs> The whole block was on the street fighting. DOT didn't stand a chance. Kano ordered a retreat, but the Tranks didn't make it. We won. And then? Well, I suppose that's up to you. Or, more accurately. Like, there's a version of this where you two run off into the woods and we never see you again. Things are very tumultuous for a time, but eventually they get the city back under control and and just go back to normal. But you can make people feel, you can make them act. And you have an army. Can we count on you? 